and welcome everybody. Today I want to go through the most important things in Illum and also want to show you some tips and tricks how you can go further in the game and progress a little bit better. And yeah, there are a lot of tips and tricks for you. So yeah, be sure to check out the whole video and also be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you like this video. So first of all, if you start out with the game, what you want to do is you want to go through the heroes you are playing with and then you have the gear and most people I know just go to the gear from the hero and just click on auto. So if you do this, it just sets up the best combination of items that you can get on a monster or that you have in your box at this moment. So if you have now, uh, let's say DPS and healer and your tank and all that stuff, then what you want to look for is that actually your DPS hero gets the best attack gear. So if you now like put this one away, then you go to other one and just click there on auto, then you will see that it will be automatically changed. So if this gear is free and it's not on another hero, then it will be put on on the hero that you choose. So, but on Freya in this case, on a healer, it doesn't make sense to put a high attack item because she's not doing your main damage. So you want to have the high attack item on your DPS monster. So what you want to do is that you look for the gear that has the highest DPS, put it on the DPS hero and then go on and take the other stuff and put it where you think it's the right place because also at the tank you have these two items as, as you can see um, these little icons on the top right um, show you what is what this item is going to be and what set stats they have and so on um, I would recommend that you always check which items you have given which monster so or which hero so this, this is the first thing I wanted to show you then the second thing we're going to do is top right and this is very important because there you have a lot of stuff actually going on and most people don't know like okay what is all of this so first of all I wanted to start out with the zodiac here the zodiac is in this case the you see here it's one of 12 so the first one is adventure damage plus two percent and if you level up these ones here you get uh, this attack attack speed and crit so this is what you're looking for it's not that expensive at the start if we uh, go on here you can see how much it costs and what the success rate is so yeah i would recommend that you do it for the adventure and later on if you can afford it you also do it for the pirate encounter that shows up on the map so uh, there you get some extras and yeah to just defeat him a little bit quicker it could be very helpful so then the next part i wanted to go through is we go again to the elune so what you want to look for is if you want to upgrade or let's say evolve you can always evolve if you have a max level hero so you go to evolve and then you see you need some seeds and also this other stuff and this is where you can get it actually but you can only enter this once a day otherwise you have to pay rubies for it 
and this is not what you want to do so what you can do instead of gathering this from there is that you can scrape your heroes and from this you can also get a lot of stuff but it's if if you look down here you see the rewards okay and you see Elune seed and if you now go ahead and just click on these heroes you see they are only giving five Elune seeds and the one star are even worse they are only giving two so you're clicking them away and these are all the uncommon monsters so what you want to do is go ahead and click on rare monsters and I also use three stars at the start because it's the best way to progress in my opinion so if you go ahead and look for the three stars okay I accidentally selected one um, if you go ahead and look at the three stars here you see we have the blue ones and they give 10 seeds for the one stars here and the two stars already give 25 seeds so what you want to do is to scrap all your one and two stars you can also do it on the lower ones but as I showed you it doesn't give you that much of seeds um, in this case if you have these just random one star monsters they only give you one so it's actually not that lot but um, then you go ahead scrape then you get these rewards here and they will be very much needed to upgrade your eloons or evolve your eloons let's say then the next thing I want to talk about is the let's see exactly the missions and the index so this is where you can get some rewards from as you can see you have your daily missions your weekly missions um, I always recommend to do all that stuff as you can see here you also get some some rewards from uh, scrap heroes and stuff so as you can see we also have a lot of stuff going on here and then we go to the next part and this is your index at the index you can also get a lot of stuff actually from uh, eloons you, you achieve to get and also from the story and all that stuff so you just click on claim all down here and as you can see we get um, a lot of rubies here and I'm completely free to play at the moment so I, I didn't spend a dime on that game not a single cent and as you can see I'm progressing pretty good I have to say and yeah this was the next thing then what I wanted to go through next is the training is also yeah it's not that important actually but it's also good to know for you so training you can start from level 15 so your account has to be level 15 then you can go here and then you can just set up some four star monsters or like three star monsters also it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day you want to have all these monsters on max level so you can then go ahead right from the training to fusion and on fusion as you can see there you have these these fusions so you need two monsters of the same of the same uh, quality and also maxed, maxed out from the level and then you can just fuse them together and if you do this and go on with the fusion then you will see uh, that it gives you better monsters so you will always get an upgrade and at the end of the day you what you're looking for is to have these rare monsters full you need 60 fusions of rare monsters and then if you pass the 60 fusions the 61st fusion will actually be a legendary monster a guaranteed one and so this should be the thing that you want to go for to get more legendary heroes in the game so then what's up next I know it's a lot of information going on um, then the next thing that we have is friends it's also um, 
good to have the, um, all your friends in, in the list or like let's say to try to get your friends list full then you can send these hearts to your friends and also receive them and there you can buy some stuff in the shop uh, so it's also pretty nice and then what you want to look for is exploration so you can just uh, go ahead and put some monsters in here I will go here and claim all these rewards now so as you can see we also get a few things from here and then we claim the next one as you can see rewards are not that bad actually so we go ahead stone of control I have to say I don't even know what the stone of control does but I know that it will be important at some point for sure so I'm done with that and what you want to do here is just like click on this one then click here and just take a random a random um, hero out of your box so let's say we take this one and then you can choose a friend so then then you get a little bonus here you see here uh, earn bonus rewards when exploring exploration is complete sorry and then you just like put in a friend and click on explore and it costs a thousand so it's not like that expensive and you can get these rewards so that's pretty nice and then we go back I just have to pick a little bit of gold probably to upgrade because I'm also running low this is like the main resource I would say that you are using so the next thing that we have is actually the lab the lab is also pretty important because here you can see your skill books and the skill books are important because what you, what you can do is upgrade your skills that's that's the logic here and also you can fuse books together so if you if you see here it's the ultimate fusion here so as you can see you need 10 sets to fuse one epic skill book so when I go ahead here and so insert material and then you see it costs 8000 gold to fuse this so I'm going ahead to fuse this one and then we have obtained the epic skill book and if you want to go on it's the same with the legendary skill book actually but you need the 10 pages as well and if you go down you can also fuse together the books themselves so if you go here and as you can see we would need now five rare books to build an epic book and five epics to build a legendary book and so on so this is also pretty nice so you can um, gather these pages together and then like craft some let's say rare books and stuff and then later on upgrade them if you just like need legendary or something that's also pretty nice and the next thing I would say is what we have next the workshop is such a thing because I was looking in here and as I saw okay you can do some crafts here or, or yeah put something together as, as you see but you need these crafting materials and as you can see I have 34 of these crafting materials but zero from these but as we saw before you can get it from these from these explorations here if you go here to exploration you see you can get these materials here so that's why I do these explorations at the moment because I guess all these materials will have uh, more or less value in, in the upcoming days or in the future so this is what I wanted to show you from the start and also how to like progress a little bit better in the game so as you can see I already have three heroes on six stars and nearly maxed out and they are getting pretty strong so the difference between uh, five star and six star is enormous. so 
as you can see here if we go on this one and just click on evolve you can just tell by the stats if if you look on the stats you get a huge increase on stats so a huge increase on hp attack defense so it's extreme <laughs> so what you're looking for is to really upgrade your heroes to six star but only the ones that you are sure that you want to keep because you cannot like upgrade tons of monsters to six star because it costs a lot of seeds and you later on will need the seeds anyways to to push up more heroes so you should not like upgrade 10 different heroes or useless heroes let's say to six star and then you are not using them so yeah be sure to check if this hero is worth it to upgrade to six star and also um, be sure that you like to play with this hero and have it on your team then the next thing what is really really important is the challenge the challenge is the thing that you're looking for actually because you can only do all these challenges um, yeah a different amount of time so as you can see here in the Lightshot Temple we can only enter once so this is what you want to do on a daily basis then the next one is boss battle on the boss battle as you can see we can enter three times a day on the boss battle so what you're looking for is that you go ahead and do as many of these bosses as you can and do them on a daily basis like three times and then it's finished anyway so you can not do it more often anyways then higher battle is like the the pvp stuff in here so as we uh, go ahead and go here as you can see yeah this this is just like the pvp i would say so then we go back and go to the dimensional rift there you can also attack you have also this enter once as you can see i did a mistake and did it at the <laughs> start and i was doing a super bad uh, rank or points let's say and yeah but you want to be sure to do it every day and also on this chaos tower on the chaos tower it is free from i guess it's from level yeah it's from level 15 i guess from level 15 and also here you wanted to go through all the stages because i could only do like the three stages yesterday and i don't know yeah i can enter now again okay because there was also like yeah restricted today's challenge can't as you can see is also it's a little bit smaller so it's hard to see but as you can see here where my mouse is at it's also one two three and you can only go through three floors every day i would say i'm not a hundred percent sure but i guess it's it's like that and if you want to go on you have to pay with rubies so yeah you also want to look out for that that you do this on a daily basis and don't miss out on any rewards so this actually is about it for the moment if i did not forget anything oh yeah right i have forgot something and this is on adventure <clears throat> I wanted to show you the, as you can see I'm here on the map 5, so we want to go back to Starship, this is on hard, exactly. As you can see on the hard maps, you can you can play the hard map and at any time, so you just have to finish this map and I guess the next one and then you can start to play on the hard mode here and if you are on the hard mode then you will see these things on the bottom, the, the heroes here, will pop up and you will also see on the map these quests. And what you're looking for is, you just click on this hero and then you have the affinity level. So what does this affinity level mean? So on the affinity level, as you can see, you get a bunch of rewards here as the level increases. And if you go all the way down here, you see at the end you get affinity level 30 <coughs> then you will obtain a three star catherine so this is pretty nice 
and what you're going to do here is you can send her gifts so as you can see we have three different kinds of yeah, parts or whatever this is and as you can see affinity plus 10 plus 8 and plus 12 this is her favor so you want to go ahead and give her the favor because you get the most affinity points out of this so uh, go to max and you, then you see affinity level result is 9 so we go ahead and just click on confirm then she's going to level up here and then we are going to get these rewards which, which are pretty nice as you can see we also um, get 60 seeds here this is also pretty nice and this is the thing that you're looking for then what is the next thing that gives you affinity level exactly it's if you're completing the quests so completing the quest means you just have to go here and go for this level so what you want to do here is just click on repeat battle and then just let it run and only end it if repeat battle when pirate doctor is detected so if the pirate pops up you can fight against the pirate and that's about it actually and you can then send all your gifts to these heroes here as you can see it's always marked with favor so then you go ahead send all these gifts bang bang push up the level and get your rewards so this is where you uh, get seeds from at the start then later on yeah you can like choose if you if you want to scrape some heroes down and, and stuff like that so as you can see this is uh, pretty nice and yeah that's actually about it that I, I hope you liked this little guide and all the tips and the tricks and yeah as I told you it's very important to go by this because like with the challenges each day you don't do the challenges you're missing out on something so you're leaving rewards behind that are for free so that's what I, I would recommend you to do so yeah again if you like the video subscribe to my channel it would help a lot and leave a like just push that fucking like button down <laughs> and yeah i would hope to see you again in the next video so have a great one and have fun playing alone bye bye